Hey everybody, this is going to be a video about Aptana Studio 3. Uh, Aptana Studio 3 is a website, uh, not a website, it is a uh, web page, HTML editor. Uh, it's actually a lot more than that, um, but we can use it for web uh, designing, uh, web page designing. You can go to the website here at aptana.com and you can download the the free uh, software. This is totally free, open source, and you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, Ruby, Rails, PHP, Python, and um, one of the things that's great about this is that it it works very well. Instead of having to buy Dreamweaver, uh, spending a lot of money on that, maybe you can afford it. Maybe then that would be great. If you can't, you need options. And if you want uh, a, 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 a development uh, environment that you can work in, this is the one I would check out. Now, it's new to me, so I don't know everything about it. It was just introduced to me uh, 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 recently. So I don't know everything, but I think it works very well and I will share with you uh, what it is that I do know so that if you want to use this you can. So first you want to download it and you want to install it onto your computer. Uh, once you do you're gonna have a little icon uh, right here. Now one of the things you want to do is this works with what's called uh, projects and so you're gonna want to make sure you have a, a folder on your in your wherever it is that you want to store your websites you're gonna have something already set up for your class so in our class we have that web coding folder and in that you can have uh, your different uh, different projects that you're working on so every website uh, can be within this folder or you could use every single folder every website could be its own project which you could do uh, very well uh, and so it's going to want to find that folder right when it starts up. So I'm going to start this up and give you a basic walkthrough of the interface. Uh, and we'll open up a file and we'll look at a couple things. Because I really think that this would be a great thing for you to be looking at. Again, it's new to me, so I don't know everything. I'm definitely not a master of it. I'm learning as I go, but it's something that I think is fantastic, and it's got a lot of reviews, really positive, and if uh, it would certainly compete up there with Dreamweaver in, in a lot of ways. So I'm going to open up Aptana Studio here from my desktop. And when it opens up, the first thing it wants to know is where are you going to store all the things that you're making. Now, it I'm going to direct it to, and it by default it'll go to its own uh, storage space. So when it's downloaded, it's got its own. It'll create its own little project area, but you can direct it to wherever you want. I'm putting it in my documents in my 152 web coding project folder. So I had already made that ahead of time, and I'm directing it to that. So I'm going to say OK. Now when this opens up, I'm going to have to get it to fit inside this space here. Uh, let it start up here and I'm going to scale it into my window so you can see it properly. Alright, so right now it's just loading everything up, it's putting things in order. And from here we'll be able to look at a few things. And again, uh, I, I'm not an, a total expert on everything, but I'm going to try my best to explain this to you. Alright, so I'm going to fix this so it fits in this space as best I can. It's a little small. All right, so um, uh, here's what about what we have. Um, uh, when it opens up here, I double clicked on this panel. One of the things that you probably won't have to do, it should open up into a page like this. And it's actually already opened up a default web page for me. Uh, here and you might get a startup window uh, actually usually it starts up with a, uh, a startup window um, if you uh, if anytime you're working in an environment like this usually there is a windows section that you can go and it'll have all the different views that's possible within your uh, within your window uh, within your uh, interface and so uh, this opens up with a lot of different things here uh, and I'm just going to kind of go through it. Usually yours will open up 
or usually it opens up with a uh, kind of an info page that that is loaded loaded in this section over here on this side is the project explorer which actually if you'll notice it allows me to look at the different projects well this has my connections in it uh, the different projects that I have uh, on my machine I'm gonna it takes a second to load all these um, but you can see uh, it's got a um, a description here of I have a different projects that I have created one's called the donut website and one's a jQuery so all of these are sites that have pages within them if I go to my documents uh, currently this is my jQuery I was working on a jQuery uh, thing uh, if I go into digital media and I can see in 152 my web coding and then I can see these are all the different uh, projects so I have a project here called the donut and I have a project here called the jQuery and I can see and I can see then uh, the different things that are in them I go down here and I can see these and it actually allows me to set up an FTP and all that sort of stuff but that would be a different uh, video uh, and so here I have um, here I have a basic layout now down here in the outline it can uh, connect you with the actual page that you are looking at uh, um, over here so this is the this is a, a page that I have loaded up and uh, in this page you can see that I've got my doc type for an HTML5 it's got my language I've got the head and I've got uh, notes comments to myself and uh, this is something I was working on for uh, uh, a jQuery now if I didn't want that I could close that out and I could go to a different uh, a different uh, uh, a different fo folder here and find find something else uh, that I was that I was looking at and so in in this particular uh, case I could double click on uh, a page like this and it brings up it brings up my page and I can look at it over here and this is where I can uh, document uh, uh, I can or I can edit my document uh, and so this is where I can work so I can type in anything over here and I can see it now one of the nice things that this has is this gives you the ability to view the code right here within the site so I have these little buttons here called show preview editor I'm gonna click that and it should hopefully open it up uh, over here in this panel and I can see then my page so over here you can see that I've got uh, some code laid out. I'm going to move these windows over a little bit. And I put in a hello world. I put in some navigation and uh, you can see that I can see that it works here. So here's my preview. Uh, so if I close that out, say I add uh, another element here. Let's say I add another link of some sort. I could add, I could add that um, to my link. I can add to everything my section I can add there's my header I can add uh, more elements here within my uh, so acting like just like a text editor uh, and so I can build my content right here on the side uh, okay so if I wanted to create uh, a new a project of some sort uh, I can do that and we'll talk about that in in a separate uh, a separate window uh, separate video. So this has a lot of uh, options for you to work with. Um, for now, one of the cool things about it is that it allows you to create. Uh, I can go up here and say create a new web project or a new file. If I wanted to create a new file like a new page, I can go up here. Uh, I can it'll ask me where do I where do I want what's the parent folder and Let's say that I'm, I'm going to put it in my web co coding folder. I'll put it in my, my donut website folder. And the file name will be, uh, I'll call this my about. About.html. Uh, and I'm going to say uh, finish. And so here's my page now. And this is where I can start typing in all my stuff. So of course, like we've done, I usually copy uh, a lot of the standard content uh, that I might need so I might copy my HTML or my uh, doc type and I might paste that up here um, but one thing you can do see now if I hit save I can save it 
uh, and and then it saves to my file. So if I went to my donut, here's my donut site, and here is my about page that I created. Now, something else uh, you can do that's very handy, um, and something that you probably want to take a, a great deal of advantage of, is I could go up to a new. Um, let's see, I'm going to go up to a new file. Let's see. Let me see it. No, that's not what I want to do. Now remember, I'm I'm learning. I'm remembering this. I'm trying to learn this as well. Uh, but I'll, I'll show that in a different video when we start up a a whole another file. Because what we can u do is we can create uh, we can create a template, and that template will have some information in it already started for us. Uh, and so from there we can already have uh, a page kind of laid out like this, where it'll have the body and the head. Uh, and the header and the different sections kind of laid out for us, but we'll talk about that uh, in a different a different tutorial. So the idea is, we want to I want to introduce you to this. I'm going to do a separate video. It talks about creating a project, creating a, a new file using a template of some sort, and uh, and here here we go. So let's do this. So I'm going to select my donut website, right click, say new from template, and I'm going to choose HTML. HTML5 template, and, and I'm going to call this. Uh, let's say I'm going to. This is going to be my. Uh, this is going to be my. Uh, uh, let's see. I'll call this my uh, contact pa contact page or something like that. And I'm going to say finish. Now, let's see. Come on. There we go. When I do that, it sets up a template for me already laid out. Notice that it has the header, it has the H1s, it has this information, it has my copyright information, it has my name down here, and it lays all this stuff out for me. It adds my metadata here, it adds my uh, 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 my title. Of course I've got to change these things, but this stuff's already popped in place for me, and then I can I can check all this stuff out. If I was to look at this, it probably wouldn't look like much, but it has the header and it has uh, some copyright information already done. And so that can save you a heck of a lot of time when you begin writing your code. And so as a basic introduction to Aptana Studio, uh, you know that's a, a, gen, a very generic kind of overview of it, but it does open up to possibilities. Now, like I said, there's videos out there that you can check, and it's something that you'd have to learn. Uh, now, if you can't afford, if you want to use Dreamweaver, obviously use it. But many people might use it for, uh, you know, the 30-day trial. And then what do you do after that? You could use obviously a text editor. But sometimes it's nice to have one of these, uh, one of these uh, software packages that help you uh, lay out code faster and more uh, with more. Uh, uh, accuracy and, and organization. So that'll be all for this basic introduction uh, and I will show you, I'll be making some more in just a little bit.